Hello, Ravi here from Lama Index. Welcome to another video in this tutorial series on uh, property graphs. So in this video, we'll demonstrate the property graph uh, index uh, in Lama Index. Uh, so we'll start with implementing property graph using uh, uh, default extractors and retrievers and then on a given document. And then once the construction is done, we'll uh, start querying with the uh, default retrievers. So we'll use uh, Mishlai uh, LLM and embeddings for this uh, notebook. So let's get started with it. So before uh, going forward, you need to install these packages, Lama index core package, and then for LLM, Mistral A LLM, you need to install uh, Lama index LLMs, Mistral A, and then uh, Lama index embeddings, Mistral A. Uh, I have already installed it, so you don't, uh, so I'll not be running through this cell. Um, so and then next you need to set up the API key, Mistral A API key, right? And we'll use uh, Mistral large latest LLM and then embedding model as well. And then you need to download the data, right? So yeah, um, once you download the data, you load it using simple directory reader, and then we'll start creating the property graph index. So we pass the documents, LLM embedding model and create it. So this uses the default uh, implicit path extractor and then uh, simple LLM extractor to uh, build the property graph if you don't customize it. We'll see in the next uh, uh, video or notebook how you can customize the extractor uh, as well as retriever. But for this part, we'll go with the simple Im implementation of using the default ones. So uh, this uh, creates the index and then uh, basically it parses the documents into nodes. And once you have the nodes, you send it to LLM uh, with a prompt, which we'll uh, see in the next video, how the prompts look like and how you can customize it to generate uh, these paths, like these pa paths are like um, uh, knowledge graphs, triplets, right? So once uh, you have the triplets, you have uh, implicit, you can extract the implicit paths as well, uh, which is uh, by using node relationships, which you have seen uh, in the previous video on the introduction to property graphs, and then generate the embeddings. So here we create embeddings for both text nodes as well as uh, nodes. That's the reason you see uh, the generating embeddings two times. Okay, yeah, and then once uh, this is done, you can save the index and you can actually view it. So let me open it. So this will take, I think, yeah, it's getting loaded. So this is the graph, uh, total property graph, and then you can actually look into it, like your different nodes, right? The speaker, author, then, right? You can actually spoil gram. So you can explore uh, the YC, explore this uh, 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 graph um, once you save it, right? So once you have it, you basically set the LLM and embedding model here. And uh, during uh, once uh, uh, property graph is constructed, you get into querying stage, right? So the default one uh, uses two uh, types of retrieval, which is synonym or keyword extraction from, uh, from the query using LLM and then vector retrieval. Once these nodes uh, are retrieved, yeah, uh, you can actually just use the triplets retrieved or you can use both triplets and the source text as well uh, for uh, to the to send it to LLM and get an answer from it. So you can uh, actually include this parameter include text equal to false or true based on um, uh, whether you want to just retrieve the text or whether you just want to retrieve triplets sorry just retrieve triplets or whether you want to retrieve both triplets and text source text. So let's uh, run through an example here, what happened at uh, interleaf and web. web. So these are the triplets uh, that have been uh, retrieved for the given uh, query, right? So you can experiment different queries and then uh, for the query engine, uh, you can have uh, create this query engine index dot as query engine that used, we used to do with uh, rack pipeline as well. So and uh, as an experiment, we'll include the text along with the source text along with the uh, triplets so then we can get a response accordingly and yeah 
so at interleaf paul gram has done some things and uh, here uh, we have received response for other stuff as well so yeah so this is how you build a uh, uh, proper graph and then start querying as a retriever as a query engine and get uh, answers accordingly and then uh, we can save the uh, whatever index we have created and load the index and uh, uh create a query engine and run the same query again so here is it so it uh, saves loads and then uh, creates a query engine on top of it yeah uh, we got the same answer again right so this is how we can build index and save load and uh, create the same index again right so then we'll see how you can use a vector store for uh, storing these embeddings right so here uh, we are using chroma vector store you need to install alarm uh, index vector stores chroma and then um, yeah create a collection out of it and so while building property graph you send documents llm embedding model what is a property graph store uh, which is simple property graph store and then chroma vector store right and then say persist it locally so this will create extract the paths implicit paths and then generate embeddings right and then create the uh, index property graph index once you have the index created and saved you can load it back and uh, create uh, a query engine and get a response for it yeah it's almost done Uh, embedding generation is the last part so yeah this is done so let's uh, load the index create query engine and what it other do at yc is the query yeah so the other uh, was heavily involved in yc and where is other task he did at yc so this is how uh, you can create a property graph Uh, construct a property graph and uh, retrieve and query it and then store it and load it again and query it again and uh, even you can use a vector store as well to uh, while creating a property graph index and load it back again and start querying so that's all i have for this video uh, see you in the next video with different tutorial thank you